Hi everybody, it's Julie, and I have a shop share for Amor Fab Fabrics because I picked up one of her Boho kits, and so I'll open it uh, with you. And I had won a couple of items from her shop, so we'll look at those. And then I have a bag of Goodwill right over here. So right here I have my May Mayhem, no, May Mystery Mayhem tags. So if you're interested in the May Mystery Mayhem Junk Journal Challenge, details or the link is down below. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So I finally got a chance to pick up one of Selena's boho packs. It was a daily deal. They were $10. I think she still has them. Um, on that day, she also gave you one of these packages of peach colored guest checks. And um, they're lightweight. The stub is at the top. So um, it's more for the server to keep rather than the guest. Um, but I thought that this would be be fun to have in my stash. So that kind of was a <laughs> determining factor. Oh, look, she threw in some beads. Lots and lots of sparkly plastic beads. Very pretty. Very sparkly. Ah, so this is my dangle. You were going to get one dangle in there. She had one that was an angel that was absolutely gorgeous. That I was hoping that my luck of the draw would be the angel, but it wasn't. Oh well. Oh, look at she put in a, a, a hat pin. It's a pin with a beautiful bead. And she's put it on this piece of cantha quilt that she folded over and some embroidery floss. So let's see what we got. So we've got this piece of blue and shimmery silver and it does have the lining. Oh my gosh, I love this. So a little one of those and a big one of those. That would be, that would make a great um, cover. I like that. Ooh, look at this. Very pretty. So it's just a variety of pieces. That's gorgeous. And another. Pretty. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be fun to have. <laughs> And, and use. Look at that. Oh, look at, I love this. I love that. Oh, this is interesting. Oh, here's the pink fabric that goes with that. I like this. This would make a gorgeous cover right here. Beautiful. Just beautiful. And this one. And these are usually interesting because they'll be two-sided. I mean, they have a right side and a wrong side. And it's a lot of times I like the, bat, the wrong side better than the right side. That one's cool. Box is fun, and then at the very bottom is a piece of Cantha quilt. So I hadn't actually ever had one of these, so this is kind of cool to to see what this is. So it's what three pieces of fabric, and they're all sewn together with those tiny stitching. Isn't that something? that somebody would do that. I'm not putting it back in the box because um, I am redoing my craft room and <clears throat> putting things away 
and color organization and thing. So, so these, so this was the box, and um, it was a ten dollar box, and then you also included that feed dangle, and um, and then those guest checks that I got as the daily deal. That was the add-on. And then these are the prizes I had won. So that's kind of fun. Look at this. A butterfly from a quilt page. Quilt page from a quilt. Block. Quilt block. I like it. How, how big is it? It's almost seven by seven, right? By almost seven, because it's square, Julie. Yeah. I like it. We'll see what we come up with that. And then this was Edith Holden Pages. I wish, I wish she had put which shop it was from, because these this one was from a shop. And I don't have any idea what the shop was. Um, but these are some Edith, the March and February Edith Holden pages in July. Yeah. I think this is going to be awesome. Oh, there's... There's the thrush that I used in that little tiny mini journal. It's not here anymore. But I used this. I used this on the cover. And this, and mine was from the paperback size. This is the large size. Look at those. Just beautiful. I love even her handwriting. Seed vessels of the cow parsnip or beaked parsley. Okay, so that is my shop share from Amor Fabrics. My little, um, it would be a haul because I did order it and then I won some of that. So let's put these all <coughs> together and then. We'll go through the good wall. So, first thing I picked up was these, and they were 70 cents. So, um, sweet little napkins, and they are different. You've got the deer and the tree, and three animals, and then over here, you've got a bunch of animals and some more deer. Oh, this is before the tree lights up and after. Aha! Very cute. So, I, that, I thought those were really cute. Um, I thought this was neat. It's it's brand new. It's a Disney autograph book from Walt Disney World. And um, I thought it would be kind of fun to to check it out. If I could open it. Well, all the scissors are in the other room, right? Okay, here we go. Sorry about that. Ooh, it's sparkly and it's got little sparkly Mickeys all over it. You see those? Mmm, cute. comes with a Walt Disney World pin and it has what this book belongs to. Oh, check it out. It's got pages for pictures and then your autograph side. So I don't even probably need to do very much to add to that, but I do have some really neat things that I think would be a lot of fun to add. And so that's why I picked it up, because I do have some really special mouse 
stuff. Okay. I got some of these trick or treat bags. There's 20 of them in there. I like the size. I got this um, book, Someone I Love Died. And I got this to give to my grandson. And so, I'll see him tomorrow. Woodland Wildlife. It's a little pocket book. And I thought it might be fun to make tags out of, out of it. Fox. So I thought that, that was kind of cute. Oh my gosh. I went ahead and picked this up. It is a stamp block and it is made in India. It's a printing block. And I thought that I could actually use this to print some of the pages for the boho or gypsy kits that I have coming out. This is William Shakespeare, The Sonnets, Poems of Love. It is an entire book of short little sonnets. And so I was like, you know what? I think these will be great additions to a lot of things. Very simple. Um... And so this is Williams and Sonoma napkins. There's 16 of them. And they have the bat. And the bat. So they're the same on both sides. And 60 sheets magnetic shopping list. Look at the windmill and all the stuff. And that was $1.99. Oh. I got this for me. A pottery barn frame. Okay. I bought this for these. So I'll be taking these off and putting them in my stash. And then the candle is going in the candle holder is going in my living room without the things. Some beautiful stationery. And it doesn't tell you how many is in there. But it's sealed, so that's good. Oh, you know, I didn't have enough rubber, rubber stamps, right? So I got some more. But I like what I got. I got this one is a tea, tea one cup of a cup of kindness so tea and I love this one this one and it has Asian writing on it and then these leaves are this this I'll use especially now that it's summer and then there was these um, Asian stampers and they were all four there so I need to stamp them and give them new covers there's a there's a plain one just a block so you could I guess you can stamp the block and stamp these on them or something. I don't know. But anyway, you got the f got the four Asian stamps. Ah, oh, there's the cards that match the stationery. So, um, this is a journal, and it has yellow lined pages. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to take it apart up here. I'll be investigating that. 
it's okay if I can't. And then look at this cover. <clears throat> the homemade pa the handmade paper cover. So that will be double duty. Um this thing of yarn was $4.99, so that was a good thing. They brought their prices back down. So it's got black and colored. Next the other. I can open this because I have the thing out where it's gonna go. Look at this one. The little flaggy stuff. Another one of those. This. Another one of those. Just black, but this is really cool. Look at the it goes real thin and then big. This stuff is really awesome for tassels. So there's more of that one. And this one's a little different. So it's just like a tie string or something. This one is just yarn. Piece of this one's really pretty. It's more of the that one. It's more of that one. And another one of these. So that is the great <laughs> mound of yarn. There's still more over here. Oh, I got this. I thought it was cute. It's got bees on it. And it has places to put um, like pictures. And this can go like this and hold something in there. Anyway, I thought it was kind of cool. It's... Oh, we got a little Wizard World thing of Harry Potter Universal Studios. Anyway, I thought this was cute. Okay. Now this is kind of... You know the free stuff y'all get from, was it Boys Town and those, oh, they had a bag of it for $1.99. <laughs> I love this. And usually they'll have an envelope that matches, see? So there will be a card and an envelope that matches the card. Their cards are really cute. And they had, a, there was a few um, cardinals this time. I just wanted to show, I love this one. I love this card. So, anyway. So I did pick up one of those, and I have a place that those are going, so we'll put that right there. Oh my gosh, this calendar just cracked me up. With the cat. And so these are the pages. <laughs> Love that. Because, you know, I don't have enough stuff like that. Okay. This is fabric contact paper. Self-adhesive fabric contact paper. Two yards. So we'll see what you can do with that. This was $1.49. It says gather. 
in blue and white, but I thought I could actually put it out for 4th of July. I thought it was kind of cool. So, I thought I picked it up. This one is interesting. This purse has these little flamingos on them. And I'm going to go ahead and cut it. And these are going to be on covers of my upcoming flamingo journals. This purse, this purse was still had its tags for $22. It's actually kind of a cool, just a cool little purse. Um, but yeah, all that work right there, I will. I think that will make those journals pretty fun. As I was checking out, there was one of these um, cookbooks. And it is the Fillmore cookbook. And I thought, well, I'm gonna go ho I'm gonna go through it and check out to see if there's anything I should any recipes I should try. And then in the back of it Excuse me. Had some Christmas craft ideas with um there's some Christmas craft ideas. <laughs> How to make a candle. <laughs> so and crafts there. So I thought that might be kind of fun to to play with. And we oh, and then I got a picture. I got a picture frame. <coughs> and they had, someone in there had taken pictures in magazines and put them inside all of their picture frames that were on an end cap. And I thought they were so cool. And I was like, oh my gosh, I will also be able to use this paper that's in here. And I also got another picture, set of picture frames that has three of these um, in it so watch for those to come in an upcoming journal so oh there's still two more little stamps I got the Cinderella's chariot thing <laughs> and a castle so yeah and you know what they do they put the, the sticker right over the image they always do that at this Goodwill. Do they do that to your at your Goodwill? Put the sticker right over the what you want to see. I I used to be an assistant manager at Goodwill and I used to tell my my people, please, you know, make it so that they can see what what they're getting cuz they'll buy the it'll sell faster. So, yeah, so that is my haul from the Goodwill, and um, I hope you enjoyed it. What was your favorite? I'm loving a lot of it. I really like this stamp, and I know I'm going to get a lot of use out of this stamp and the, the roses and this. Um, just a lot of really, really cool, fun stuff. So... And thank you, Selena at Amor Fabrics. I love my boho kit. Can't wait to use it. And thank you for the extra goodies. Find something to celebrate every day. Don't forget to subscribe. Have an amazing day. Check out my next video. Talk to you soon. Bye. Bye-bye.